with caution. What is up my cautious dude and welcome back to another Dan video. This time I'm going to explain some of the mix-ups that I have used with Dan's VS2 option select. This B skill 2 taunt cancel option select for specific mix -ups. Um, It's actually quite simple but I'm sh gonna showcase you what I mean by this. So in the previous video that I showed you guys there is a mix-up that we can do with EX Dan Kukiaku, um, where if we get normal recovery or back recovery, depending on what the opponent does, we get a side switch, yes or no. So, normal recovery, we're gonna land behind him, but if we do back recovery, we stay in front. Now, the reason why the Dan V skill 2 taunt cancel option slate comes in handy dandy is for this next situation. So if we get back recovery, I'm gonna start with Crouching Fierce. So as you see here, uh, in my input on the left, you can see that I actually inputted the taunt cancel V skill. But because it hits so meaty, it doesn't come out. Meaning that we can use this Crouching Fierce and the V-Skill to get visual confirmation. So if we put it on normal recovery, for example, then we get enough time to see if it hits, if it comes out, and I can just go into another button. Um, now the best damage you can get, obviously, is Crouching Fears into Crouching Fears. However, it is not very easy to do if it gets blocked, uh, meaning you have to go into like a Light Bench Charge Gadoken, but it's not a true block string, you can probably get punished. Actually, let me test that for sure before I say stuff that isn't true. Let me just put him on guard all. I'm actually curious about that. Um, yeah, it's not gonna work if we do that right now. Yeah, red fireball is plus one, so most likely the normal light punch Gadoken is going to be minus or zero, which is not ideal. So I recommend, um, even if it's not max max damage, to go into a standing medium punch instead. Something like that. So, and this is why, like I said, the V skill to Taunt cancel option slate comes in very handy because like I said, if it's back recovery, it doesn't come out. You can link it into another crouching fears. I can show you that as well. So as you can see, uh, the first V skill taunt cancel doesn't come out and then we can just link it into two other crouching fierces because it hits so meaty. And this is why that V skill to taunt cancel Option select is so great. Back recovery, it doesn't come out. We can still combo. Normal recovery, we land behind. It does come out and we can link it into another button because it gives a bit of time. Now, there is one other setup where this works. Uh, but this one is not as easy to perform, in my opinion, than the one that I just showed you. Which is, this one is very simple to explain, it's just after doing EX hands, you can just do a jump forward. And based on their recovery, that also decides where we land. So we got it on back recovery right now. There we go. And then you can get three crouching fierces again. The first V skill 2 Tom cancel isn't coming out because once again in the same situation, it hits so high up. Um, and it works the same way with normal recovery, obviously. If we jump again, we're gonna land in front this time. And then the V skill to Tom cancel does come out and we can just confirm that into another button to get a combo going. Uh, the fun part about this is that if we get back recovery, um, it's just really funny that with V trigger 2, you can actually 
get five crushing fierces in a row, which is kind of, it's, I don't know, it's kind of funny. I don't think it's ever been done before. Even though after V trigger, you, you should go into standing roundhouse because it does more damage. Uh, but it's, it's kind of funny to see. Um, so yeah, those are the reasons why you should use V skill 2 on cancel option select. Um, very specific, obviously, for these specific situations. But yeah, it does help you out with not having to worry what side you are going to land on when you are going to perform this mix up. Uh, and it gives you enough time to actually hit confirm and see what's going on. So yeah, this was a short one, but I hope you guys appreciate this information as well. Some of you guys posted it um, that I was using this in my latest Dan compilation video. So I wanted to give some more in-depth into how this actually works. That was it for now. Once again, don't forget, as usual, to stay cautious. And I'll see you all next time. Take care.